Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on the Aqua Open Source YouTube channel. My name is Anais Urlis, I'm the Open Source Developer Advocate here at Aqua. Now in this video I'm going to walk you through using the new Trivi Config YAML manifest. The Trivi Config YAML manifest can be used to define all of your scan options, whether you're scanning for misconfigurations, vulnerabilities or secrets, whether you're scanning container images, infrastructure as code or your Kubernetes cluster. Whether you're scanning any of those resources, you can now use a Trivi Config YAML manifest to define all of the scan options. Usually, you would define the scan options with flags. For example, in the Trivi CLI, we can define the severity flag. We only want to scan for high severity vulnerabilities in our container image. We can define it for a flag. Now, we can also define those values directly through a Trivi Config YAML manifest. What are the benefits of using a Trivi Config YAML manifest? Well, first of all, if you all want to scan for the same options, for the same output, right? For the same kind of, um, with the same input and the same output, I could pass a uh, a command, a CLI command for Trivi to you, and you can copy paste the CLI command. However, it's really a difficult way of repeating scans, right? To just copy and paste CLI commands. What I can do instead now is I can commit to git my Trivi config YAML manifest. You can pull and you can use it as well. And it's really like a repeatable way of doing the same scans across machines, across environments. Similarly, we might want to run slightly different scans across our different environments. For example, our staging environment, we might want to have uh, our scans pass, even though there might be critical vulnerabilities in our scans. Versus in our production environment, we might not want to have scans pass that find critical vulnerabilities. Everything I'm going to show you in this little tutorial is here within the organization Cloud Native Security in the Trivi demo repository. It's going to be all updated and you can find everything that I'm going to show you. Now, when you're on the Trivi repository, you can go ahead to the documentation and in the documentation within the doc section, bottom part, customization, you can find the config file definitions. Now you can define so many different options, global options for your scans, reports, um, scan options, cache options, database options, image options, vulnerability options, secret, misconfiguration, and so on, right? It can all be defined here um, in the Trivi config. You do not need a header. How it looks like is basically that you set up a YAML manifest such as trivi-config.yaml and you can define everything that you want to pass into your scan, right? So for instance, I'm saying here, I'm taking most of the default options for the global scan, and then I have a port summary in case I'm doing, for example, Trivi Kate scans. And I want to have the scan output format JSON. I can also say table format as the default would be. Then I can take in a Trivi ignore file, specifying all of the doc directories and files that I want to ignore <laughs> in my scan. And then I'm defining I only want to see high and critical vulnerabilities. So this is all defined here within the trivi-config.yaml manifest. Now, how would I use it? Well, you can just say trivi image config, dash dash config, and then specify the path to the trivi config yaml manifest, and then what you want to scan. It's like any other trivi CLI command. We have trivi, then what resource we want to scan, for example, file systems or image or git repository. Then we specify the flags. In this case, we only have to pass one flag for the Trivi Config YAML manifest and then the image we want to scan. And then we can scan it. Now, in this case, you can see there's no output. It loaded our Trivi Config YAML manifest. It updated our vulnerability database. It performed the scan. And then there's no output because I specified that I want to have the output saved in my output.json file here. And now we have over here our output.json file with all my JSON data from my vulnerability scan. Now, how do I know how I can define the Trivi Config YAML manifest? While the documentation provides me with the reference of the different options that are available, I don't see what options are available other than the default options, for instance. 
So in the case of image scans, I could go ahead and say Trivi image dash dash help. And then I will find a comprehensive list of all the different flags that I can pass into the image scan as well as the different options that are available for those scans, right? So for instance, I can see the output, right? Output file, um, ignore file, um, here, severity. And then I can see that I can specify unknown, low, medium, high, critical vulnerabilities, right? And with those informations, with the input from the Trivi CLI, and then having the structure of the Trivi config YAML manifest, I can put it together. I can put my Trivi config YAML manifest together. The Trivi config can also easily be used in your CICD pipeline, such as your GitHub Actions. Now we have here Trivi Actions, a repository with all of our different GitHub Actions out of the box available. Now you can mix and match them how you like. Here you will find the Trivi config uh, GitHub Action, and you can just paste this into your uh, GitHub action or use something similar in your CI/CD pipeline. Uh, we have several examples also in the documentation for that. Now here is my React article display repository with my Trivi config YAML manifest. And it's gonna basically say, only find, look for critical vulnerabilities, Xcode is one, format is JSON. And then within the GitHub Actions, once I run it, it will check my um, container image for my repository for critical vulnerabilities. Now, in this case, it didn't find any critical vulnerabilities or high vulnerabilities in that case. Um, have to check <laughs> why. Um, but ultimately, here you will find in the .github workflows repository, Trivi pipeline, YAML manifest uh, with the GitHub Actions and here's the GitHub action defined. Oh, and here I specified critical and high. So that obviously has precedence over the uh, trivial config YAML manifest. Like always, all of the resources used within this tutorial are linked below in the description section. If you have any questions, please comment them below or join the Aqua Open Source Slack channel. Also, the link to the Slack channel is below in the description section. Now, if you like this video, please do hit the like button. Please do give the Trivi repository on GitHub a star. It would mean a lot to us. If you want to stay up to date with future tutorials from this channel, please do subscribe. I really hope to see you in one of our upcoming videos. Have an amazing day. Bye bye.